Welcome to the session, guys. Uh, in this session, we are going to see our uh, switch over activity on the data guard by using data guard Broca DZMGRL. In our previous sessions, we have configured the data guard setup and DZMGRL we have enabled. This switch over is an activity, is a planned activity. Failover is unplanned activity. Okay. Manual switch over. Uh, we I mean we can go ahead and do this manual switch over. The prerequisite is this, we need to check the archive gap and uh, primary and stand by side, both the sides. Even max log also, max sequence also, we can see it. Okay, let me check the max sequence local gear session. What is the maximum sequence here? 26. And we can check the stand by side. What is the maximum sequence? 26. So archives are up to date. Is there the archives things? Then what is the next prerequisite? We need to connect it to the DZ broker with the sysadmin. We already connected. I'll show you that. Or else I'll show you from the step one here. I already connected with this DZMGL. Clear. So in this way, we need to connect DZMGL sysadmin. If you mention that we can remove the service name simply also it will connect to prod. Why? Because I, I was already connected to this primary. That's where it is connecting to this prod only. So then check the configuration. Check the configuration. So status is good. This is our prod is primary database standby. STBY is our physical standby database as of now. What we are going to do is this prod is becoming physical standby. Standby becomes primary database. How it is going to? Let me validate. If validate, what we are going to see, we used to see some of the flashback database status and off or on. And uh, this network connectivity issues, these are okay. That's that's okay. And ensure primary identity. This one we can enable uh, this connector identifier, alter system set uh, things to zero and then we can make it up. That That is okay. It's a warning kind of one. And validating this uh, connection just before we have updated the parameters, network set parameters. Let me check once our uh, listener status, LSMRCTL status DG and GRL where it is. Our prod is connecting properly. There is no issue. Similarly, in the standby CLS and NARS CTL status reload. Let me reload the status on the standby server as well. And we can wait for some time. Sometimes it's network. That is a network issue. Guys. That won't be an any delay issue. Any issues? Standby, it's fine. No issues. So, ready for switch over. Our primary database is ready for switch over. That is only one thing which we need to validate it. Okay. Then, standby also. We need to validate how the standby database is. Just before we saw that, of the primary standby is see here is ready to switch over so there is no issue if you are going to do the switch over it is going to take it if it is not s yes, switch over will be failed that we need to look into it then 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 we need to initiate the switch over activity now see by using this command we can do the switch over so what what, what we are going trying to do is STBY standby database as of now is a physical standby, but I am trying to switch over the primary from primary database I connected, right? Switch over to standby. After that, we can see this physical standby uh, database is going to change. The standby is going to change as the primary. Primary database is going to change the. <coughs> Let me check the database status. Show database this one and then we can validate it. Okay, broad. So perfectly it is right and the primary role broad is a primary, standby is a physical standby. Once we did the switch over and we can see that status again. 
So switch over, uh, switch over to standby. So it is going to shut it down and start up all the services. So it's a planned activity. We can take a downtime also. We need this maintenance window for switch over activity. See here, it is going to now primary. New primary database is ST by is opening. See here, it is switched. Before this command, prod is our primary. After this one, STBY, standby database is our primary. I will show you that. Let it execute it. Here it is in now connected to this opening and these things will happen again. It needs to be started ideal instance and other things. By using show database command, we can able to see the status of this databases. Starting the instance of the prod. See here now operation requires to start up instance. That's okay. This prod instance becoming a standby one, right? So we need to start that and then we need to enable the, while it is going to start up the network connectivity. That's okay. That's, that is not an issue. Let me try to check this. Show database role standby. See here, standby database status role is primary now. And redo transport, it will take time. Why? Because the primary becoming a standby, that standby we need to start up. Let me check this here. A database has been shut it down. I'm thinking in that way, that is the one. Yeah, here it is. Our primary database switched to standby. Now, once it is done and trying to restart the services, there is some network issue. That's why it is not going to start up. But for that, we need to do it manually also. Okay, and then we need to enable the MRP that will uh, resolve that issue start up simply if i could initiate start up it is going to start up actually if we are not seeing this network issue right attached address tcp primary that local domain we need to look this one instance fraud okay dz and grl so there is some issue with the network only for uh, this thing why because we are uh, implementing listener does not currently know the service Okay, that is the issue. Otherwise, it should do completely everything that self uh, by itself only. But we are doing manually open underscore mode database underscore role from e dollar database. See here MRP also enabled read only with apply physical standby. Which server it is? See, it's a primary server, production primary. So now our primary become physical standby. And our physical standby is becomes, let me reconnect it. Let me check this, see here, this is the primary is becoming a standby. Now our standby is becoming primary, read write mode. If you are doing some transactions, create users, other things, you can do it. That will be impact. And, and then if you want to roll, switch back it to the primary to standby, standby, that we can do it also. So vice versa, we can do anyway. So the database status, now we can see again from here, if I can connect DZ and GRL. Let me check. See here. But the database status it is changed. Prod is become physical standby. Apply is on now. STBY, let me check. See here. Our standby is becoming a primary and transport is on. Now, whatever the archives are generated on this server, now it is it is uh, it is our primary. Our primary earlier, our primary is becomes now physical standby, vice versa. In this way, we are going to performing the switch over activity. If you want to roll back it, we can roll back the things as well. 
Okay. As of now, we are seeing lag, could not apply and uh, those, okay, but those will take time, but we are not uh, getting that issue. We are directly showing the status success and it is a transport on. If it is off, we need to make it on. If apply is off, we need to make it on. So, for this, what we can see is, I will generate some of the archives. Archive, archive log list. See, this archive log list is this alter system switch log file. Two more. So, total how many archives we have on the standby. This is not a standby, now it is a primary. We have these many archives. Let me check the uh, status of this archives, max thread. 31. 31 is generated. Stand by side, we can see 31 up to date. Okay. This is the way we are going to enable the data guard broker and then data guard switch over activity. That is, guys, if you want to edit the parameters, transport on, apply on, or off. We can do by using edit parameter, edit database, set equal to apply on or off. This parameter, we can use it. From the DZ broker, we can uh, use that command. Exit here, DZ and ZRL. From here, we can use this, apply on and off, we can make it. Apply off, we can make it. So, prod database apply off, we ID it. See earlier, Okay, here it is. The prod database apply is on. I made it off. Let me check it. See here, apply is off. Apply rate is not going to unknown. Again, if I want to on it, I can make on. Then we can see the status also. So in this way, we are going to edit the parameters and then we can make uh, the database archive. If you have any maintenance activities. So now archives is going to shipping. If you have any maintenance activities, if you want to stop the apply or if you want to stop the transport, we can do by using edit uh, database parameters. We can do that. So this concludes our switch over, how we are going to perform it. Failover also simple thing. It is not uh, that much one. Similar way we are going to do it. Uh, failover to the database name we are going to give. Okay. DZ and GR level, right? So that will that is also a very simple way that we can do it. Okay, MRP is not uh, running on this one. Why? Because it's a primary node now. This is our secondary node. Here we can see the MRP. MRP will show you the state. The MRP we can see in now. It is from SQL prompt level. We can see it. Okay, apply log, applying the log status. If it is not started, it will show that no row selected and other things. So thank you guys.